Hello and welcome to another development log of Project Third Eye. In today's video, we are going to look at a new dirt bike mechanic, new physics and overworked everything basically, then new motor sounds and how it sounds on this test vehicle and so on. This um, was for a TikTok video and we're going to talk about this auto crane which is new in the game and it is fully set up and very fun. Okay, so let's jump right into it. The auto crane is very similar to the boom lift. Let's jump into the boom lift. Yeah. Great. Yeah, this is the boom lift. And um, that's how you start the motor. You basically hit the gas in any direction. Then we can raise the main arm with the right joystick, the uh, pitch axis of the right joystick. Great, that's how we get into the air. And then we can also extend the arm on the boom lift, just like this, with the uh, right joystick on this boom lift. Great, and we can even drive with this vehicle, so the wheels can be steered. I don't know if you can see this. And this is how you drive, you just move it into the direction you want to go. <coughs> And this way you can move around in the boom lift. Okay, just in case you didn't know that there is a boom lift in the game, this is how you can use it. It's in Vehicle Others. Great. And like I said, this auto crane is relatively similar, just a little bit different. And of course, it's just a vehicle with some extra mechanics, basically. Okay, let's jump right into it. We climb along these bars. You can open the door. Um, retract this control thing and yeah just take a seat and yeah put this back down great now with the right trigger we go forward with the left trigger we go backwards and as you might have guessed the steering is the steer steering great uh, yeah let's drive around the ramps and see how it goes yeah, the arm is really huge, if you look at it from this perspective. Great. Make a quick round around the ramp. And let's try to get back between these ramps without crashing into something, preferably. Great. Yeah, that's how it works. And with the right joystick, when we push it forward, we can raise the main arm of the vehicle. Of course, the hydraulics is properly animated. And if we move it to the right, on the roll axis, we can extend the arm, the main arm. Um, doesn't look really super realistic because it's a little bit too fast, in my opinion. But yeah, that's how it works, really. And then we have this joystick right here. When we move it, to the left, we can rotate the whole cabin, but as you might be able to tell, the whole vehicle starts to shake, which is terrible. So what we gotta do is, if we look outside, maybe we can see this, the support arms right there. So these guys, they uh, just extend and then raise the whole vehicle into the air. And you can use them when we push this forward. And now, as you can see, the supports come out Ugh. and oops yeah now the whole vehicle is has been raised into the air lifted in the air by these support arms so that the wheel is spinning freely under this vehicle very cool and now we should be able to rotate the whole cabin and um, yeah without flipping over. Yeah, that works great. And we can even climb on top of the arm. Let's try that really quick. All right. We are going really fast. I hope I don't fall. Yeah, this is extremely high and yeah, nothing you want to do if you have if you're scared of heights great 
That's it for the auto crane. Very cool feature in my opinion. <clears throat> but let's move on to the motor stuff. So in the last development log, I basically showed you how we have physical motors in the game. So this right here is a motor. And uh, this motor is connected to the axle right there. And this axle is connected to the wheels right there. So it looks super shitty because uh, it's just prototype and I really just want to get to the core of the mechanics. So I don't really have anything fancy set up for this. But um, yeah, we have a piston animation so you can see that this is supposed to be a motor. And this physical motor is now connected to a new audio system and it makes motor or engine sounds just a lot better. But let me show you how it sounds. Okay, I pull the clutch. This is the idle RPM and now let me show you how it sounds. Absolutely amazing, to me at least. So it's just a lot better than whatever it was previously. Okay, but now let me show you how it sounds like when we actually drive the vehicle. And just in case you haven't seen the previous development log, this is the development log where I've talked about that the fact that we now have a physical motor and clutch. So this is the clutch. This is how you shift the gears, basically, with the secondary buttons. And this is how you throttle up the motor. And if I now let go of the clutch, yeah, the motor basically stalls and it's, and it's done. So I need to restart it. And uh, yeah, if I let go of the clutch, we're going, obviously, and I can shift into the next gear, and it's all physically connected to the rear wheels. And as you might be able to tell, when I release the clutch, when the wheels have a lot higher RPM than the motor, you can hear that the motor has to catch up with the speed of the wheels, and we have kind of a motor brake. Great, that's it with the new motor sounds and the motor. But now let's talk about the thing where I want to talk about. Um, and this is the dirt bikes. So wait, right here we have the OG dirt bike, but I thought the model looks terrible because it only has a base map and no reflections um, can be seen, no details, very boring. So I made this one or I set up this one. And uh, yeah, it has proper PBR textures. You can see the reflections are just a lot better and so on, but people hated it because the fender is not wide enough and the steering is not wide enough and all kinds of stuff is wrong with this model. And people preferred this model. Um, yeah, I was just looking at a developer perspective and from that perspective, this one is obviously better because it just looks better, but it doesn't look good to dirt bike people, obviously. So I added this model, which looks like this model, but has the texture quality of this model. And uh, yeah, that's the result basically. So we have proper PBR textures, physics-based rendering with uh, metal and smoothness and all these things. Normal map, you can see the details. Oops, that was not intentional. Please stay where you are. Great. And um, yeah, even this arm right here is animated. Very cool. And even the shock absorber is animated. And what's also animated is the wheel, obviously, but also the chain on the wheel. I don't know if you can see this, but the chain is moving along with the, with the, uh, what is it called? The thing on the wheel. Great. And uh, yeah, here we have the front suspension and so on. Okay. I don't want to bore you with all these um, details. Let's look at how this one sounds. Oh, uh, yeah, that's how it works. We have the wrist throttle thing. Okay, let's drive it actually. And here you can see the clutch is animated as well. And so is the brakes. 
Yeah, that's the brakes now. Great. Okay, let's actually do something. And let me show you how the motor sounds when we actually drive the vehicle. Yeah, we teleport back to the spawn automatically somewhere over there. And yeah, from the physics perspective, there are some obvious changes. The first one is that there is no more leaning, so it doesn't really matter what I do. Uh, it just doesn't lean. This is just um, to have more controllability because it's, it's just so much better and more controllable when, this, uh, when the roll axis is just completely locked and you get less motion sickness. I personally don't get motion sickness, but it's still disorienting if you move along all the axes. But uh, this is just way more comfortable. Um, at the same time, it's more controllable because I can keep the whole simulation of the vehicle. It's just one axis that is locked, so it's still relatively realistic. Yeah, and uh, as you can see, the steering works, unlike with the static dirt bike in the game. And there's something else that I want to show you. Let's jump on this uh, track right here. You might already be able to tell. Let's do this one more time. Okay, so, um, during the last weeks I was trying to implement air steering to the dirt bike and this didn't really work very well. So instead what I did, um, I added air steering, but it's completely physics based and it's based on the momentum of the rear wheel. Okay, so when the wheel is spinning a lot and then you hit the brakes, you start to um, rotate in the opposite direction. So you can actually control the... Oops. Control the angular velocity. Ugh. But uh, only with the wheel momentum. Just like this. So this effect might be over... Uh, yeah, it exaggerated basically. But... It's... Um, very fun. So when I tilt, uh, basically nose down the vehicle, I can bring it back when I throttle up. I can basically control the angular velocity with the throttle and the brakes. So let me show you this on the others. So when I pull the brakes aggressively while the wheel has a lot of RPM, I can even do a front flip, uh, obviously not this time. Let's try this really quick. Yeah, that was not enough momentum on the rear wheel. Let's do it. Yeah, still not enough momentum. Yeah, that might work. Not, not exactly, but uh, I think you get the idea. If you pull the brakes very aggressively, when the rear wheel has a lot of momentum, yeah, that's worked. And the same goes the other way if you throttle up. Great. Yeah, that's how it works basically. You can control the vehicle mid-air with the throttle and the brakes. And this is very cool when you want to land in a specific orientation like this. So if you want to land into a wheelie on this tabletop right here, you can just throttle up the motor to a point where you just land perfectly into the position you want to land, the orientation. Yeah, so that didn't really, that didn't went too well. Let's try this again. Oops. Here we go. Barely made it on the tabletop. Yeah, that worked really well. I think you get the idea. So, 
you can basically uh, control the vehicle with the throttle and the brakes. That's it basically with the dirt bike. Overall, I think the physics is a good, a good balance of real, realism and fun. Um, yeah, and that's it basically for these two features. It took very long to set them up. But, follow the development of Project Third Eye. <laughs>